Most people in America are familiar with what is and isn't acceptable under the law. Most of us are accustomed to being allowed to conduct ourselves with the concept that the law is protecting us, not trying to harm us. In America, we have some people that feel that the law is subjective to their whims and their opinions. That is technically not true. What we know about people is that they like to do things to me and to you that are not necessarily lawful. Someone in your family might be stealing your mail so that you get no information about important policies, important bank accounts, and important things of your life. Or it could be someone in maintenance or someone who's responsible for your apartment complex that just wants to interfere out of jealousy and stupidity with your life and an absolute hatred because for some reason they got offended or felt something that was inappropriate to their job and the rules and regulations of how they're supposed to conduct themselves on behalf of their corporations. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth and there are people who like to take advantage of people's sadnesses, people's losses, people's downturns in economy, people's closing of businesses, people's interference with other people's lives is often off charts. There are many people who will see a homeless person and instead of talking with that person and seeing what they're looking for or what their life is about or where they are in any way, shape or form, they will simply pick up the phone and try to call some shelter or call some policeman and it's really not their right. The foolishness of men is paying attention to people who you have no rights in the world as strangers to do anything for or against. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and there are people like me and people like you who have been constantly abused, attacked, harassed, harangued by people in law enforcement and people in communities that we don't know at all and would never need to know at all, except that society at large doesn't like people who are walking through communities, and I sometimes laugh and scoff at that because where the fuck were we before we had cars? You see, there's a presumption and assumption that everyone has a car, and that's not true. And there's a level of arrogance that says that someone doesn't have the right to walk for exercise or go any place with any luggage without looking unusual to you. The truth is that we have many people who are travelers who literally make the walk in their life. It's sort of a spiritual journey on one regard because it requires a lot of stamina and quality of health. And it's sort of a technological journey in the other regard because they have to get to and from places safely without some shitbag driving by in a truck and try to run them over or honk at them or yell at them like a young man in his 30s tried to do to me the other day and I almost pulled him out of his fucking car. I was actually moving my place myself, which I do every single day, to a spot in the road that gets me out of the way of people coming in and going out so that I can cross the road in the very brief amount of time that the signal changes and allows someone to walk safely across the road. But that young man was honking at the driver in front of him. He was trying to maneuver the situation because she had not expected that, of course. And she was a little young as a driver. And he was shouting at me as if he had rights to do that. The reality is that there are people in this world that are plain old selfish and rude. They don't have any concept for impoverishment. They don't have any concept for poverty. They don't have any concept for homelessness because they've never experienced it. They've had the luck and luxury of family that have truly loved and cared for them and not tried to harm them. And they have had the luck and luxury of friends who'd be willing to tolerate them on their, well, let's just say their sofa, their den, or in an extra bedroom for them. But at some point that times out because all families, all couples, need privacy and relational time that doesn't involve someone else in it. The reality is that we have people in America that will utilize an elder's income instead of allowing that elderly person to hire their own child or their own son to serve them. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and some families are just full of dysfunction, and that's not on me. That might be on you. In life, I can tell the truth of my story, but people don't necessarily care about it because it doesn't bother them that it doesn't show God's glory. 
You see, God's glory is never shown in the killing, maiming, harming, harassing, haranguing, abusing of anyone. But here's our problem today. We have a lot of men, white men in particular, who want to be God today. We have a lot of black men who want to be in charge of someone today to enslave themselves into becoming almost like a slave master, a taskmaster, an abuser of someone's life today. We don't want to feel that way. We want to be politically correct. We want to be neighborly with other people. But at some point you question, is this person being kind because they really are kind? Or are they trying to be kind and neighborly so that they look like they've not done anything inappropriate or anything in indiscretion that harms you or me? You see, <clears throat> a wolf can be in sheep's clothing. And we all learn that from the fairy tales of childhood. We also learn that we don't take food in from strangers unless of course we can absolutely prove that it just came out of a shop and that its seal has not been broken and redone of which many countries cultures know how to do today and openly it's a part of their stealing of food but it's also a part of their tainting of food to harm you and me today. America is at a for a point of a unique type of civil dis array or civil unrest and that we have people that want to take advantage of us and not catch us at our best in america we've always had charlatans we've always had snake oil salesmen we've always had people who are ease at ease with lying stealing and cheating you and me out of our federally protected rights to the most important parts of our life which typically end up with the three p's our personhood which is our physical being, our spiritual being, our psycho-emotional being, our intellectual being, our paperwork, our legal documentation that is involved with our life from our bank account records all the way across to where we might be laid to rest and to our property or our possessions, the things that we have been gifted by family and friends, colleagues and strangers and the things openly that we have paid for based on our own blood, sweat, and tears of our discretionary income that is that extra amount of money beyond what we've needed to live. In life, we have moments of time to know that all of those three things are protected fully underneath the Fourth Amendment, and yet we still have men in politics, women in politics that want to interfere with our rights to our bodies, interfere with our rights to love people, and interfere with our personal decisions that impact solely our individual families and rarely do those lines get blurred into society other than on the, an occasional outing or community event in life we have moments of time to speak the truth that many Americans are out of control about other and total strangers lives and many people insult the homeless is absolutely true and many of them abuse us the same and they're coming from both American citizenry and foreign exchange students and studentship in life I have the right as a reporter a fully trained fully degree reporter which was my degree was in to communicate and to educate and to comment and to observe correctly things going on in my world and I might not have used always my recording skills but I certainly created a publication in Japanese for my community and in Indiana that ran for three years so if you've got something to say to me, please come up and say it in my face. But don't disgrace yourself by playing in the shadows in the nighttime when people are allowed underneath the guides of American culture to sleep safe. 